Let's pop the hood of this Dodge Durango. Absolutely gorgeous. Telescopic bipods. 3.6 liter V6. No turbo attached to it, but this is an eight speed automatic transmission. It's like a doubled up situation here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Diamond black clear coat on the Dodge Durango here. Another cool feature this has, the cabin air filter opens and closes. This engine has 295 horsepower. It's got six high quality Alpine speakers in it. They're going capless and you get about 21 miles per gallon with this one. It's got an illuminated light on the inside and it holds 28 gallons in its fuel tank. Blacked out, part of the blacked out theme with the black rims. No privacy shade though. I would have liked to see a privacy shade, but it's not a deal breaker. Cool carbon fiber like feel. I always like showing these back passenger seats to see if there's plastic on the back. So if you got wild kids that are kicking and doing stuff, it's not gonna damage your seat and your expensive vehicle. And it's got a gorgeous cargo net there on the side. I love the bucket seats. You got a place to put your Lay's potato chips and your Coca-Cola's. It controls, this puts it on the feet, this puts it on the head, or I would put it in the middle. Heated, no ventilation on the back seats, but just this plug is amazing. 20 by eight inch black noise aluminum tires right there. Gorgeous. Pirelli Scorpion. Total price is $59,000 and to lease it you're paying about $1,000 per month on it. It does come equipped with a spare tire but the spare tire is located underneath. These are the bucket seats and you have a little bit more storage capacity right here to get access to the spare tire you just pop that up take the kit out here and then you could have access to the spare tire. These are two seats here, so we have extra storage space. So I'm shorter than six feet, and I got a lot of headroom. So tall people would feel very comfortable inside of this. Nice little place to hang your suits and ties. Rear passengers do have access to climate controls. But, I don't know if you guys could see it, there's a lock option that if the driver wants to lock you out <laughs> from just messing with it and driving everybody crazy, they can lock you out. So it's only gonna be the temperature of what the driver is gonna dictate. Wow, this car smells so good. When you open it up, got the black and red stitching there. This is the first time I actually like the amber color. It looks extremely fancy. There's a red pin that you pull right here to put down the two seats in front of you. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam. Love pulling the pin and automatically the headrest comes down so it doesn't get blocked by the driver's seat. Heated and ventilated seats. So if you're carpooling and trying to reduce your carbon emissions, let's see how easy it is to get in these back seats over here. Not too bad. Just gotta slide through. But it's not gonna be as comfortable as the seats that are in front of me. A little bit of a tighter squeeze back here. You're more elevated. On your, uh, you're more pushing forward in the back seat, but it's not a deal breaker. My head touches pretty close. 
you can expect it's not going to be as comfortable as the first four seats but i wouldn't mind going for a trip in here feels luxurious option for coca-colas this is the blacked out version which is a little bit more expensive but look at that dual exhaust this amazing another cool feature about having it blacked out is this isn't in chrome I, I don't know if you can even see it but this is blacked out too it's just a cool easter egg i guess and dodge didn't integrate an electronic hatch closer you got to do it old school style and i actually like it this way it doesn't bother me one bit to have to close it manually Lockable glove box, spacious. Beautiful cargo net. And then we have for the driver and passenger heated and ventilated seats. Electronic controls there on the side. The Dodge logo. Got some memory, memory seat options for a taller or shorter driver. Automatic downs on the front two windows, but not on the back, it looks like. What wireless charging instead of the wires there? USB Type C, hazard lights, that's your ventilation and stuff. Heated steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Then this is your. Decent resolution. The Nissan's a little bit more crisper. Comes with a tow wench for your trailer. Look at that. Yep, you squeeze it. Testing your brakes. Oh, that's testing the trailer brakes. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming to a stop, you, pr you press can that? Test them, yeah. Wow. And then that's to gain and loosen it. Correct. This has a hidden tow kit that's integrated right into the bumper. All you, ha all you have to do is take this off and you have access to the tow. Daytime running LEDs. Look at how bright this glows right there. Heated steering wheel. This just makes the entire car right there, man. There's our gear shifter there, and you could switch it to manual. Lane assist, you could turn that on or off. Parking assist, traction control, eco mode, and then we'll go on sport. Blind spot assist there on the side. definitely helps me out here. Uh, those looking at the, the wrong dash. spot black and red stitching that goes across it so we got rear windshield wipers so these are the sensors that take the place of cameras on the 360 degree view and right now we're at the yellow stage, so we're getting a little close. First time looking at a Dodge Durango key fob. Beautiful. It has a secret key that you could use to lock the glove box on. Inhalation, heated steering wheel. 